we're led by idiots. Isn't that weird? And I realize that doesn't that doesn't really make us unique, does it? I mean, if you read any history at all, you pay attention to history, you realize there are these periods of time, lots of them throughout history, where just normal citizens like you, like me, they're led by morons. They're just not led by capable people. Low IQ, just not very many abilities, just idiots. The truth is, the truth is right now, the United States of America, this country we love so much, the land of the free, right? Number one, home of the brave, biggest economy in the world, all that stuff. This country is led by morons. I, we make a lot of fun of Joe Biden on the show because he's a half-functional adult, but really wrap your mind around this while I play you this. Really wrap your mind while you watch this just brief little thing here. This is the president of the United States of America. This is the commander-in-chief. This, this person, if we were to go to war tomorrow with China or some, some big world war, this is the man in charge of our armies. Think about that as you watch this. Not a joke. I'd ride every day. I, I commuted every single day for 36 years as pres vice president of the United States after my wife and daughter were killed. I went home to see my family, never stopped going doing that. You know what? Just never mind. Look, at least people are seeing it. Rasmussen reports they conducted a poll. 58% of the country said they're not confident at all in Joe Biden's physical and mental state. 50% of the people, well, 50% said they're not confident at all. 58% said they're not confident. 53%, I love this, believe others are making decisions for him. I, but just a brief pause on that. Who are the 47% that think Joe Biden is making decisions? Have you seen Joe Biden? 47? You know what? Never mind. Never mind. And look, we're told, we're constantly told these lies. Think how few negative stories you see about Joe Biden. You don't see many, right? And we're told these lies about his popularity and Joe Biden is just really a likable guy. And you remember all that campaign stuff about, I'm just a kid from Scranton, Scranton Joe, Scranton, Pennsylvania. Well, here's how Scranton Joe was greeted when he went back to Scranton. like they're happy to see him. And so that's Joe, right? So let's, let's set Joe aside for a moment and let's focus on Dome. Because yesterday was the 57th birthday of Kamala Harris. And look, all Dome jokes aside and things like that, she fascinates me. And I really, really mean this. I might actually play this video for you a couple times, but I really mean she fascinates me. And this is what I mean by that. Most politicians, most politicians, Joe Biden, I mean, all of them, Republicans, Democrats, doesn't matter. They're in politics, right? So they understand they have to get elected. People have to go vote for them. So they will at least learn how to pretend to care about people. I mean, you've seen all the political videos, uh, hugging some lady who lost her husband. Oh, can I hold your baby? Oh, look, little kids. I love kids and old people. They at least pretend to care. Kamala Harris is so devoid of any genuine human emotion. Everything she does is awkward. It is seriously as if she was programmed in a lab. They built her. She's this robot. They built Kamala Harris, and somewhere along the way, the scientists forgot to put in a personality because there's just nothing there. Kamala Harris had a surprise birthday party thrown for her yesterday. Of course, the cameras were there, and here's Kamala Harris walking in the room and shouting surprise all on her own. Surprise! Oh, you yell surprise. That, look, we're real. I'm a real person. This is real. <laughs> it's so weird. And one more thing, one more thing. The kiss, I mean, that was her husband there. And don't get me wrong, I don't have a problem with married people giving some smooches now and then. I want you to look at them again as they kiss and see if you see anything a little different about this kiss. Surprise! <laughs> The 
masks on? They're, they're kissing with masks on. Gosh. Hey, thanks so much for watching the first on YouTube. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and like and subscribe. You heard me, like it, subscribe. You'll get a lot more of it and a lot more of me.